Hey, it's your boy, Sergeant Hook on Hensions. Um, so, excuse me about that. Oh my gosh, burping out of nowhere. I'm on the hill, man. Uh, we were talking about Don Brothers, episode 20. And, uh, spoilers, guess what? 20 for 20 perfect episodes. Are you kidding me with this shit right now? Like, like I, I there's so many seasons that I love of, of Sentai. Not, uh, I, very few of them can have this many perfect episodes in a row. Like, what do we, how? <laughs> anyway, um, so... This episode um, mainly focused on Jiro, um, a little bit on the team as well, but mainly on Jiro. Uh, so Jiro wants to be the leader to show off to his ex-girlfriend. They talked about in his backstory, he had this girl, I can't remember her name, and they were like dating, and he talked about this, been like, he talks about it in this episode, that they were like on and off dating throughout their lives and blah, blah, blah. And she kind of sees him, I mean, she, he thinks he, that she sees him as a, that he could be a hero and whatever, but I think she honestly sees him as a dork and she was being nice to him. So he um, got some kind of word from her that she'll be in town soon. He wants to impress her. And so he asked uh, down Mo, he asked Mo, Mo, Mo Taro again, hey, can I be leader of the team? And the whole team's like, no, no, no. And then uh, Taro's like, oh, sure, but yeah, you can do that. That's fine. This might be a good test for the rest of the team. But eh, I'm going to withdraw from now from the whole team. And they're like, what? And he's like, I just want to see how this goes. And he walks off. And so Jiro gets to be leader finally, and he redubs them the the Dragon Fires or something like that. I think somebody online, I think it was Sentai Five or somebody, um, called it uh, Rescue Sentai Dragon Fires. <laughs> but um, they even have like a whole new like little logo and like the whole team posing. It's it's ridiculous and goofy. So his plan is to um, have them. Uh, try to save people around town and gain notoriety or whatever. And they're like, I don't know about this. And even ha even Haruka says to Taro, like, are you sure about this with his, like, double personality thing? What if he attacks us again? And whatever. And so um, while this is happening, we get another scene with the brain persons where Sonoi is talking to Sononi um, and mentions that, um, gives, a, get, gives a bit more lore and backstory to Don Murasame, that it's a weapon of the Senate, the Noto Senate, the, the Noto brain person Senate from their world. And um, he's not sure how it's free, and he's, he thinks maybe the beast persons have something to do with it, but he's not sure, and um, not sure why it was used and why it was acting the way it was. So I don't know if it'll ever be fully a human like person that has that power and uses it. If anything, maybe they'll do an arc where it starts taking control of people, and then it tries to with Sonoya, he makes it, and then he ends up taking control of it, and he becomes fully Don Murasame. I would like that the most. It'd be cool to have him be a full part of the team and all that, but who knows? Um, so uh, he mentions that, yep, that it's the it's the science weapon, and thought it wasn't sentient. Um, he's talking to Snowy about this. Behind him is uh, uh, is it um, Sonoza, who's like reading a bunch of manga. Last episode, there was a random scene with him trying to learn how to laugh, and he takes his dude's manga, and now he's a fan of it. He's trying to learn how to you know not how to read, but how to how to laugh and stuff. And they're approached by some random girl who's like, "You guys should be in my movie," and they're like okay <laughs> they just go with it because they're just chill like that so um they're doing all these trainings you know all this all over town there's a part where they're like running through like the rain up up and down these stairs and for some reason any brother joins he sees them he's like oh and he joins them with them and they it's just absolute comedic genius right now that they still 20 episodes in have no clue that subasa is Inu brother none of them none of them know i think I feel like Inu brother, like like Subasa knows that some of them are part of the team, but maybe he doesn't either. Maybe he hasn't physically seen them transformed and know that they are either. I don't know. I can't really remember. I just know it's ridiculous. I love Inu A4, and I hope it doesn't come back to bite us in the ass and be something really fucking sad later. But um, there's a sequence where they're going up and down these stairs in the rain, and he joins them. And he's like, oh, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. He goes, oh, a police. And he, like, runs away. And <laughs> Kiji brother turns around and like, huh? Where'd he go? Oh, well, I guess that's one of the perks of being a... Being a criminal is you can just leave because the cops are nearby. <laughs> the show, man. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. I'm trying to take a look at my notes real quick. One second. Um, okay, so we get a couple sequences of them doing a bunch of things around town to save people. They're trying to stop this truck from coming at them. Uh, Kiji brother and Sour brother run in. They get hit by the truck and get sent flying. And then uh, Oni's sister like holds up a hand for it to stop and just stops. We're like, oh, whoa, okay, well we did it. So they're getting all these like you know easy you know dubs throughout town, and they start getting some notoriety. People in the news start talking about them. Oh, the dragon fires are doing this blah 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 blah, and they're happen to be there and they're helping people, and they're getting like some notoriety and popularity, right? And so they start getting a little full of themselves. 
Um, and they're at like some award ceremony from like the prime minister or something like that is going to award them for their efforts. And um, it was really interesting because there's a point where um, their changers in, in, uh, appear in front of them to tell, you know, like to forcibly change them and go to the, you know, whatever's happening. And they instantly take their changer out of the air and go, transformation denied, and take the, the, the avatar gear out. And it was like pretty jarring to see them act this way, this selfishly, but also cool to see. I like it was like part of the episode that they were just getting full of themselves. And uh, Kaito Black shows up and tells them how, um, you know, like to be careful about what they're doing and that it's not um, like the best look for them to do that. And they're like, man, they don't really listen to him. And he's like, well, you know, kind of like Pinocchio telling lies. I mean, if you're a little too, you know, smug about things and too full of yourself, your nose will get big too and whatever. And there's some random gag with that where they have the long noses for a while, which is weird. But um, he goes away because Taro needs help. So he goes there. Taro's fighting the Hitotsu Oki, who I think was a Die Ranger themed one. Pretty sure. Martial arts Die Ranger. Yeah. And um, it's just this random dude who's growing, like challenging people. And uh, Domo and Taro's having trouble. So um, Kaijo Black swoops in and comes in with the, like, um, the, you know, the Geertlinger, like, laser blade thing comes in and helps fight him off. Eventually, he leaves. And he, they were both on Transform, and Domo Taro's like, thank you. And he's like, you're welcome. And he's like, I just don't get it. And he's like, wait, he's like, why are you helping us? Why are you a hero? Why are you, why, how can you transform? And all Kaito says, it's really cool. He mentions that he was born a hero, he will fight as a hero, and you will continue to do so forever. And I find that really interesting what they're doing with that. There was any of your stuff released from Inoue about the show and production and everything that he has not seen Zenkaiger. So I, I would assume he would have written this with not having any of that in mind, not having this be a continuation of any kind and just the, a similar version of the character and that's all we're going to get. I don't know, but that is a really interesting thing there. I kind of see where people are coming from. This whole season is some kind of digital simulation program and... Kaito Black is just like a program version, like kind of like in Tron, how Tron himself was a program version of the guy who created him, you know, the like actual guy in the real world who actually developed him or whatever. Similar thing. I feel like that was kind of what they're doing with this is like maybe Kaito, it's going to be revealed at the end that Kaito is helping the Kami-sama, like God character from Zenkaiger, like simulate what a Sentai season is like or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's just really odd and really interesting getting the backstory of him here and there. So... He leaves after he talks to him for a little bit, and he ends up meeting up with the people again and telling them, or actually, I think it's Taro that actually does. And he says, you know, wow, you guys have gotten so popular. They're like, yeah, you know, we don't need to, you know, listen to what everybody tells us and blah, blah, blah. And we don't even need you. And he's like, well, maybe you do. And they're like, what do you mean? He's like, because everything you did was because of me. In my altar form, I've all the things you've done, it was me and my altar form taking care of that because you guys weren't doing things right. And they're all like, oh. And each of them, their little noses fall off, and then so does... Uh, Jiro's, and um, yeah, and uh, so I think it's revealed by him or by 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 Kaito Black, one of the two. Anyway, and they're like, "Con," they like walk away, and they're kind of upset. And they go to help or whatever because the master attacks. And Jiro's like, "Taro again!" And he's like, ah, he's like screaming, and like it's clearly something happening. It brings out the Toro Bolt personality, completely different outfit, a lot more like neck cracking, like the Beast persons. By the way, I wonder if that's going to be a thing, um, and more bestial in general. Has the Ryu, Ryu, Ryuko Nogeki or whatever it's called, and folds it down into axe mode. And he's like, he says, uh, I can't remember the, what the Japanese word is, but he says, awaken and forces the Toro Bolt, like done Toro Bolt uh, avatar gear to a uh, form out of nowhere, puts it in and transforms. Um, and the suit is nice. I might honestly like the Toro Bolt suit a little more than Don Dora Goku. I don't hate either, but I think I like Toro Bolt a little bit more just because I'm sick of seeing gold. For a six for so long. Um, I mean, clearly, Kirame Silver was silver. But still, I just it was really nice to see silver and it changed things up a little bit. Um, but anyway, so he fights and he's kicking ass. Very bestial or whatever. He, they basically move out of his way. He's the one that ends up defeating him. And he gets the um, Avatar gear, which turns into the Dire Ranger gear. But in his hands, turns to the Six Ranger, Kiba Ranger gear. Um, so, uh, yeah. And we also get a scene with Sonoi fighting off Don Murasami for a little bit. And then he just escapes and leaves. And I think it's because Sononi, or not Sononi, uh, uh, yeah, Sononi stops him and says, we have a movie to film, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, right, I'll leave this alone for now. And they just leave. So it's really unclear what's going on there. Like, I know they like to take their opportunities to learn more about human nature and everything. But, like, you would think if he sees Dama Rosame as a threat, then he would do something more about that. But maybe there's some other connection there. I don't know. Um, 
So yeah, so uh <sighs> Yeah, blah blah blah, trouble defeats. Yeah. Okay, if you have the micro micro fight like normal, we get a different finishing attack instead of the Domboro Paradise, it's like Domboro slash with both swords, kinda cool. Um the ending of it shows that Jiro's ex, uh, she gets some text from him or something. Or no, she's just sitting there at like her house with her mom. And her mom's like, weren't you supposed to leave for Japan? She goes, oh, yeah, I was gonna. But then I just kind of felt like I didn't want to anymore. <laughs> so she like never told Jiro ever that she wasn't going to be there. Um, and then at the very end of it, we see that Kaito Black shows up for accepting the award for the Dragon Fires. And he gets a, like a whole like little magazine cover and like, calendar made with him or whatever and haruko finds like what that was supposed to be us and she gets really pissed so yeah pretty funny episode overall really entertaining i like being introduced to the toro bolt version of like don uh well, i guess don uh what is his name now momotani jiro's um don toro bolt form is really cool i like how it looks next week's episode shows him in the kiba ranger form the white ranger mighty morphin or kiba ranger from die ranger going up against abra killer which we would assume that the sixth rangers are all accessed by him anyway, but it's a rival ranger technically, and what was originally evil. So I think we think it's Don Murasami that's alter or uh, Avatar changed into it, which is really interesting. So um, so yeah, so that's a fight that's going to happen next week, um, and some other shenanigans like normal and Don Brothers. But this is a fantastic episode. It was had some really good action, some really great acting. It was you know entertaining from you know, beginning to end. I love seeing a bit more backstory getting pulled back about Kaito Black, about Don Marasame, their connections to him, this Senate of the Noto world. Um, and just in general, more things happening. Um, I'm not mad that we don't have the whole Inu Brother is Inu Brother thing yet, but I'm guessing they're saving that for some emotional reveal later on. I don't know. Um, Someone had a pretty dark theory that the only reason, because he like reacts to seeing the ghost pretty quickly in the last episode, that he's actually dead or something like that. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of weird because they can all see him and other people I thought could too. But anyway, who knows? Might be heart wrenching, might be comedic, but overall, really entertaining episode. Probably give it a strong, probably a strong nine and a half out of ten, only because I didn't quite understand why Sanoi just let Damarasami go, basically. And I wish um, that there was a bit more for Eni Brother to do. He's kind of been two episodes of just kind of randomly in the background doing not a whole lot i mean he did in last episode with the ghost and she pet him and kept his secret about who he was but still um but overall pretty good episode let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this week's episode episode 20 of avatar sentai don brothers uh where do you think the story's going what do you think about don marasame the brain persons their connection what's going on there kaito black who is he um thank you so much for liking sharing commenting uh watching the videos of course subscribing i'm so so thankful for it um, thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to be able to like talk about all this stuff every week. Um, also check out, I did put out some new videos for, um, Miss Marvel, my review on Miss Marvel, why I love Marvel, and also some Star Wars videos, why I love Star Wars, a review of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. And those are separated out in a playlist for Marvel content, Star Wars content, and I actually gathered all my, any Digimon videos into the Digimon content playlist. So those are all playlists I'll put together now if you guys want to watch that stuff. Um, doesn't get as many views as my Toku stuff does, but hopefully someday. Hopefully some of you guys will want to watch some of that, bring some new people in, whatever. But uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. But until next time, stay hooked on them henshins. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Dun-dun-dun-brothers. Who is a new brother?